going to your next comic, Gene Meyer. Give it up for your host, everyone. Come on, doing God's work. Give it up for yourselves. It's a Friday night. How are we doing, folks? It's a Tuesday night. Excuse me, I got excited. Who here watches porn? Where are my porn watchers? Um, front row. I don't watch porn. I'm with my girlfriend. I don't want to. What kind of porn do you like, sir? Bestiality. Holy fucking shit. You need to dump this man. Or not. I don't know what you guys are into. I don't watch porn. Give it up for me, huh? You look like you don't believe me. Is that, is that true? I don't, it's not for religious reasons, okay? It's because when I was 19 years old, I used my parents' internet to download so much porn illegally that a porn company actually sued my father. <laughs> I'm not even making it up. You can look it up. Vivid Entertainment v. David Meyer, right? <laughs> Just go to pacourts.gov. It's on the docket, right? And the best part of the story is when he confronted me about it, I tried to blame my little sister. <laughs> He was like, Gene, Elizabeth is eight years old. And I was like, yeah, she doesn't know what copyright laws are, okay? We settled out of court, right? That's not the worst part. The worst part was my dad now knew what kind of porn I watched and would bring it up all of the time, right? Like later that summer, I was like, uh, Dad, I'll, I think I'm gonna apply for a job at Whole Foods. He was like, oh, you wanna work there? Is that because all the MILFs go there? <laughs> he really did that. He's very animated. <laughs> and I was like, Dad, no, gross, okay? It's because they don't drug test, all right? Come on. I, uh, when I did watch porn, I liked uh, lesbian porn. Any lesbian porn watchers? Anyone? So I'm the only feminist here. Is that? The guy in the ass suck t-shirt is the only feminist here. Okay, I see how it is. No, I watch so much lesbian porn, I now fuck like a lesbian, right? <laughs> right? Give it up. Yeah, yeah. I heard some fake clapping in the back. No, we just finger each other and complain about men. <laughs> it's great. I used to say scissoring, but I was doing a show in Atlantic City, and this woman was like, We don't do that. I was like, It's a comedy show, Mom, okay? Jesus Christ. Uh, let's see, so I am, this is true, I am a licensed therapist. <laughs> yeah, you wanna hire me? You wanna hire me, motherfucker? I'll let fucking go! Give it up for my brother for coming out to support my comedy. You guys better have some wild sex later. You're like, I was just screamed at in Chowantec. I'm a licensed therapist and I'm a death metal lead singer, right? Yeah, yeah, snap it up. Yeah, baby, I uh, it, It's two very different roles, right? You know? Like, I can't go into a therapy session and be like, all right, motherfucker. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to tell me about your childhood. It's okay if you cry. One of my first clients ever was this 18-year-old kid. He was very shy, he wouldn't talk a lot. But then one day he came in wearing a Metallica t-shirt. And I was like, oh my god, this is it, right? So we started talking about metal. It was a good conversation, he's opening up. Five minutes in, he says, have you heard of this band? They're from around here, they're called Bandit. Which is my band. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't know what to say, so I just said, no. <laughs> and he goes, good, they suck. <laughs> so he sent his ass to rehab, <laughs> yeah. 90 days, Karen Foundation, yeah. All right, thank you, you guys have been amazing. Give it up for your awesome.